Hey everyone, Sam Burr here, welcome back to my channel, yay! <laughs> um, we have a bit of an issue here, as you can see, um, it's, it's really like, like, it's going on, like, there's a lot of issues here, there's just so many people coming in off the trains, and they're all exiting the train station in this one exact spot, and it's crazy, like, look at all the cars everywhere, it's just too much, so what we're going to do today is we're going to fix up this whole area, make it really much more pedestrian friendly and hopefully fix up some of these traffic issues as well whilst we do the whole pedestrian thing and hopefully, well actually one of the main reasons why I want to do this area is because the amount of lag that it's causing in my whole city is incredible, it's really horrible uh, I actually had to reduce my graphic settings just for filming in this inner area. So just in case you don't know where we are for some reason, we are in the downtown area and it, it is quite laggy because of this guy down here. Um, everything is really slow. And also I'm just gonna mention very quickly, we are in the middle of a big death wave. So the population has dropped by about 30,000, which is pretty crazy. 30,000 people dying at once is a lot. So that's also part of the lag as well because like all of the dead people's signals are flashing and then all of the hearse are driving around everywhere. So I'm gonna pause that. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. There's a few different things that I wanted to do. I actually wrote down a list so I make sure I cover everything. I've got it all here on my iPad ready to go. But um, also, if you're new to my my channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe because I'm so close to 70,000 subscribers, which is really crazy. I didn't think I'd ever get that much. And um, it's really incredible. I'm loving the journey so far. So thanks guys for helping me with that, I guess. So anyway, first thing I want to do, I, I want to turn off the space elevator because, oh my God. <laughs> Passenger service last week, 42,000. That's in one week. Almost 43,000 people. Absolutely crazy. So crazy. And this is a, a big uh, lag maker in the city. It's just incredible. So I'm going to turn that off for a little while. And maybe I'll turn it off for a while. Um, it's pretty intense. But yeah, that's why there's so many people down here as well. And hopefully... It, just turning that off will help with a lot of the lag. Now, uh, we need to fix up this. So what I want to do is a lot of the cars, they're going along here and they're going straight down into here because they're trying to get onto the highway. But what I actually want to do, now some of you won't agree with this, but I'm going to delete this road because I want to divert the traffic, well, any traffic that goes on here to basically use these larger roads because these large roads are pretty empty. <laughs> um, I kind of regret building them because I thought there would be more traffic, but you know what? I guess my planning is just that good, <laughs> that good that they're all pu using public transport instead. So I, I kind of want this road to be kind of more like duh, 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 this type of road here. It's a lot smaller, not many cars going on. It's, it's quiet as well, and I don't want all of the traffic going down here because like this area, it's supposed to be a calm area with the parks and all of the shopping places and the residential buildings as well. So I don't want it, don't want it to be too crazy. So all that traffic will be diverted around there and hopefully that will help. But what I'm also going to do for now, I might actually disable this in the future, but for now I'm going to ban just little cars on this road because I don't want all of them to bunch up like this and it'll actually encourage them to use their <laughs> use their legs more so instead of bunching up and causing lag in my city they're all just going to walk around hopefully they'll automatically use public transport again um, so we have the, the tram there or they'll just get onto the big pathway oh, oh, also quickly a lot of you have been asking what is the name of this pathway right here and you could just go into my mods and asset list and find it, but the name of it is this one right here. So it's pedestrian and bicycle path. Um, it is the one that I use a lot like that. So it's got the bicycle ways and then the pedestrian pathway as well. So there it is right there, pedestrian and bicycle path. Enjoy, <laughs> enjoy. So I've banned cars here, right? That Did that ban cars for all of it or just part of it so all of it so like normal 
cars, uh, other vehicles can still come in through this area, but um, just like the, the normal little cars, I don't want them. So hopefully they'll all disappear now and hopefully my computer doesn't crash. It's been crashing a lot lately because I think all of these issues and that I did have a lot of mods that were really just not necessary. I uninstalled those just before I did this video as well. So, goodbye to all of you. Actually, I'm just going to pause it, whatever. You guys can do that later. Now, are all of the people going to walk up here then spawn a car? Hopefully not. I want them to use public transport. So, one thing that I need to do is we need to add in a tram station right here because you can see that it goes past, but it doesn't stop. And, oh my god, where is it? Excuse me, where is it? So, we have one up here. Um, okay, I'll change it to there, but I want one right here because this is where all of the people will go. Actually, can I put it there? That's better. We'll delete those ones because it's right at the pedestrian crossing so they can easily just walk up there. It's quick, it's easy, and it's also visual as well so they can see from down here that, they, that there's a tram station right there. And what I also want to do is bring this pathway over here but firstly before I do that I want to add in a underpass which is this guy right here now usually I'm not really in favor of tunnels right you guys might know that if you're familiar with who I am but I want to do this one because I think we can get away with it because it's in a high uh, foot traffic area so meaning there's going to be a lot of people now the reason why I don't really like tunnels that much is because when you're in there a lot of things can happen like if you think of a, a TV show like someone like gets stabbed or they get mugged in in a tunnel right where there's not many people where people can't see what's happening but I think since there's a lot of people around I think it's okay and I think it, I think it looks good like we got even though it's got the graffiti and stuff like that but yeah I think it looks it, look, it looks pretty good right so then, at least they won't all use this crossing down here, and that's something that I actually want to remove. So, um, which one is it? It's this one here. Now, if you go like this, um, I'm going to remove the traffic lights here because, like I said, there's not going to be much traffic now because it's not really a through road. Well, it's, I mean, it's still a through road, but it's not like when it was connected to here where they can go really right through so now when they go through here it's really going to be only for traffic that wants to go for this inner area and as a result it's going to be much quieter but i don't want people to cross here i don't want them to cross here so we don't want them to cross down there i might do a pedestrian bridge or something like that or another tunnel so that's good and then we can remove that and I shall make the guys in the parking lot area they have to give way like that it's still really laggy but hopefully it fixes up itself soon um, is that a oh that's actually a road I must have used a road there that's okay and so hopefully should I ban oops don't want to do that one I might actually ban people walking across here because then that'll really encourage them all to use going through this tunnel as well and what I also want to do is we get our trusty pathway the one that you guys were all asking about and we're going to remove the connection from here I might add another connection down here I might just do that quickly just as a reminder if I oops why did I why did I click on that oh my god why did I do that um, actually we'll make it start from underneath the tunnel just to utilize that space a bit more like so and then bring it down that'll do for now and then I'll just pull it across like this for now just so it's actually connected so they have that option so there's that connection and then now we need to kind of ugh, annoying road guidelines do you ever get sick of road guidelines Ugh. So, why don't, actually, let's just turn it all off. Goodbye. I want it to be kind of in the middle, like so. And then, is that straight? That's roughly straight. Roughly. Good, good, good. And then we'll make it go up a little bit. Up, up, up. Is that going to be too steep, though? Could be too steep. Um, it's okay for now about there okay so then that's directly connecting up to down here actually i haven't even connected it yet um bu 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 bu. what is this one do we want that one do we, do we want this one maybe this one this one looks more grand right turn oh that's off good 
Uh, it's going a little bit crazy there because there's invisible pathways through there. So we'll just go like that. Go like that and like that. Hopefully, can I drag? No, okay, I have to do it differently. So I have to go like this, put it here, and then I'll drag it into place. Hopefully, they still use it fine. Like so. And actually, this one's good because it kind of blocks the entrance to cars because of all the little planter things there. So I just drag that into place there like that. Good, good, good. And then I have to do the same here with this guy just because of that invisible pathway. Actually, you know what? Let's just bring it up like that. And actually, ugh. Drag it into place. Drag it. No, that's not even straight. Ugh, the struggle. Struggle, struggle, streets. About there, I think, would be sufficient. That's not straight, though. It's got to be straight. It's got to be a straight line. Is that straight enough? That'll do. Remove that little bit right there for now. So hopefully that is good. Actually, why are the little planters disappearing? I bring it up a bit. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, I can just manually place them. So hopefully they will all prefer to use this area now to walk through here and connect up down there. Fingers crossed. Okay everyone, so during that time that I just let it load, I added in a few more different pathways, so just a few more big grids, and I think this will look really good once we fill in all of this, the, the surrounding areas with larger buildings. So I think this space in here will be just really, like the look of it will be, I don't I don't even know what the right, the right word is, but it's just going to look really good. Um, so we have, a lot of people are still going up underneath here, and a lot of the cars are still spawning here but even though I think it's just how it is so they get off the train they spawn the car and then they realize oh he's banned cars here so then they go back to being a pedestrian so I think that's what's happened and then also over here I've extended this pathway along here now I just went for the old wooden type bridge and I think it looks really cool and you can see like I just finished building it and I pressed I continued um, recording and the people are already using it and because it's quite a different height difference I thought I'd go with a bit of a, a windy shape which looks pretty cool and that'll be really useful for whatever I build up here as well and um, so there's the pathway that connects up there which is where the subway is it's just in there where all those people are and yeah so I think that's generally it uh, oh yeah I put in these guys here these are called fl the flamingo but they look like some weird wacky monster like like the monster from the quiet place it looks really cool and then I just threw in some cafes underneath just to utilize that space a bit better so yeah that's basically it now I really want to fill in these surrounding areas maybe I will soon maybe I will do it off camera a little bit I don't know but anyway that's basically it so I think the whole area is going to be a lot better now um, you can already see like there's not really any cars in the whole area except for down in here but yeah some of them do escape like some of them are like you know what you can't tell us what to do and then they just drive out here that's why there's all those people there and it's kind of like why did I put in all these parking spots if there's going to be no cars right so I mean whatever <laughs> sometimes you gotta do these sneaky things and um, a lot of people still using the pathway which is really great and um, yeah so I think I'll leave the episode here so thank you guys for watching and I shall hopefully See you guys very soon.